Hi everyone, I'm Frank from the City of Games, and today I'm going to be playing the Arn of Cats Explore and Draw solo mode. I'm going to be playing on the easiest difficulty to show you how it works, and if you already know the rules, this is great. If you want to see the rules before you see a playthrough, check out my other video first. We're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to name our boat, and we're going to name it Kumar. Why? Because one of my two cats is called Kumar, and as much as he loves his sister, he also likes to destroy her once in a while, and today we intend to destroy our sister so Kumar seems to be the lucky name that's hopefully going to help us do that. We can see our sister is going to start by getting five points for each purple cat on our boat so we probably don't want to be getting any purple cats and we're hopeful not too many are going to come out. We've got one coming out there. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully <laughs> more purple cats. Okay well that's 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 not ideal for the first round. Let's look at her um, lesson card. She's got nine, um, 10 points for less than nine treasures, which means we are going to want to take lots and lots of treasures. Five points per visible rat, which means we're going to want to cover every single rat, and two points per cat in the largest family, which means we probably want to focus on lots of different families rather than one big one. Okay, so we've got I mean, this is a double purple cat, so we don't want to do that because that's going to be 10 points for her. We've got score your largest family twice. Now, if we're doing lots of different families, then that could work really nicely with this card. They kind of counter each other quite nicely. And that feels like a good option to me. We don't really want to take a purple cat at the start. I'm, I'm quite keen on that. Like 12 points, there's no empty space at the edge of your boat is also good. But if we can get three big families, then I think that's going to work in our favor. So let's jump down this column to start with. And I think we're going to start by taking the green cat. I mean, the cats aren't ideal. The green being here, orange being over here, it's not going to help us too much. But we can try and like we can find a middle ground. Let's draw our boat over the treasure map over here. If we do that, that is then going to give us a common treasure. And we can use that common treasure along here, taking one of the four options shown on the top of the um, time tracker over there. Then we can draw our orange cat. And I think... I don't want to block off the blue too much. So what I'm thinking we could do is maybe do this. And this is probably going to help us get orange across, across whilst leaving some room for blue, allowing um, green to go in this direction. I feel like it's important that we get all of these treasure maps where we can because every treasure is going to be important to us. We're also taking lesson card 26. So we're going to just cross that off and we're going to score our largest family and um, third largest family twice at the end of the game. So that's the end of the first round. We're going to move on to the next round. We're just going to clear off the cards quickly and see what comes out. And in the meantime, we're also going to have the next card come out for our sister. So green is not ideal for us. We did go for green as one of our two cards cats could have been worse but we've now got to make a decision are we going to keep pushing green and try and form another um go for a different color or are we just going to accept that our sister is going to get 12 points if we get three green cats now it's a hard decision because we've said we want to get our third largest family to be big and we probably don't want to give her lots and lots of points. We really want to go for not purple and not green with our three families. So maybe this green cat is going to have to just be sacrificed, so to speak. We got a treasure map for it. It's not the end of the world, but... I feel like we might be pushing too hard if we keep going down that route. I mean, we could quite quickly take this, get towards red, take some blue, get us going towards those families. I mean, we now know red, blue, and orange are going to be those three colors that we go for. Um, one point per common treasure on your boat. It's not too bad. Purple cat, not ideal. They'd probably end up negating each other. Four points per family of four or more cats. Now, that could work really well for us, couldn't it? Four or more cats, because we're going to go for three big families. So that's going to be three um, sets of four or more in theory, which should be 12 points. So that's a good card for us. Two points per visible rat is going to be counter to this. So we don't want that. Three points per family. We're kind of going for three big families. So what I'm thinking is let's take column one. But let's use a special and also take this. I think one column and any other card is the special that we probably want to go for. I mean, maybe we could take one from each row. But 
I think that that's okay. I think that we're okay using this. So we're going to take one additional item from any other column. We're going to take this lesson card here, number eight. We're going to cross it off. So now we're really trying to build three big families. We've now got a blue, a red, and an Oshax that we're going to draw onto our boat. And I'm just having a look at what's going to be the optimal way to do this. I kind of feel like the blue cat would fit quite nicely along here. So let's start by drawing the blue. We're sacrificing the green but we can now draw the Oshax as, as a blue cat and continue in this direction, which I think wouldn't be too bad for us. So I'm kind of, I'm feeling that's okay. So let's go with that. There's going to be our um, blue cat coming out here, our Oshax, sorry, coming out as a blue cat. It's going to give us a common treasure. So what I'm wondering is can we use that common treasure that we've just drawn over here perhaps we draw that here that's going to block off the green cat a little bit more which is fine because we've said we're not going to worry about that and then that allows us to draw our red cat into this space to start getting our red cat closer towards that red treasure map and that just seems like a good turn to me i feel good about that we've extended um well three cats towards families that we want to grow we've got the green kind of out the way we're moving towards the right color treasure maps we've got plenty of room to expand we've got a couple of good lesson cards that could end up scoring us a good 20 plus points so i'm feeling quite good about what's come out at this point it doesn't really matter to us too much what color our sister's gonna get next i mean obviously um it just takes it a little bit because we don't want to push too many cats of that color but to be honest i think that whatever it is we can adapt to it so i'm, I'm feeling good about this strategy for that reason it's very very adaptable so that's red so that means we probably want orange to spread out quite a lot and not do too much with our red cat but let's see what comes out in this next round. So we're looking for lots of red, we're looking for lots of orange and lots of blue. So that is a great first column for us. We, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I think we can make do with that. We would like to get treasures. We've got to keep in mind, we need to have at least nine treasures. And at the moment we've only got two and we're quickly going to get to a point where we just don't have any. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, this last column, <clears throat> this could be great. This could be three cats of whatever color we want, basically. Well, a blue and two that we choose, which I think could be really, really good. Um, we, this first column is not too bad either. Seven points if you've got exactly four families. We're not going for four families. I am it's difficult because again getting two common treasures at this point is going to be helpful if we're not going to cover this purple one then we're going to get at most four from our boat which means we need to find five more common treasures and i'm not yet sure how we're going to get those but this over here is just looking oh it does look really really good doesn't it but where are we going to put those cats i mean where are they going to fit are they going to help us we the blue one for example um I mean, it's basically going to go up here, right? There's nowhere great for the blue one to go. And those Oshaks are going to be really, really fiddly. But, I mean, saying that, this one up here, I feel like we have to do it just because of how nicely that one is going to fit into this space. Isn't that going to be absolutely beautiful for us? Absolutely the perfect piece over there. That is going to give us a treasure map. And I think that we're going to put that one in this gap here so we don't accidentally forget about it later on because that is a danger square to not have filled. Now the question becomes, what do we do with these other two cats? Again, with this Oshax, I'm thinking maybe um, I kind of like the idea of drawing it in here. It's not... It's not beautiful, it's not amazing, but it is helpful. It leaves us with a space that we know could be filled later quite nicely. We've now got three blues, so we need to make sure we keep pushing orange. Um, sorry, three red, so we need to keep pushing orange. We also need to leave a lot of room for blue, because thinking about it, we've just said that we want all of these to be at least four cats, and if orange is coming across here, then that does leave us a little bit... Um, a little bit landlocked so part of me wonders whether the blue one should go down here now that's not going to help us cover anything but it does grow that blue family i feel like 
this might be a mistake. I'm sure some of you are shouting at the cameras right now that that is a mistake. Um, let me know in the comments, was that a mistake? That blue cat. But I feel like I need to fill as much of this as possible because we want to ideally have five of each of these. I think that's going to be the great place. The orange is going to be our biggest family in theory. Um, but yeah, we're done. I think we got to keep in mind we've still got two more specials. We are coming up to the halfway round and the next cat color is going to be orange. That is unfortunate because ideally that means that we would want blue to be our biggest family and we just, <laughs> we, we are going nowhere near having a big, big blue family. I think that blue, if we're lucky, is going to get to four. Maybe if we get a kitten, we would end up being slightly bigger. I don't know. Maybe a couple of blue kittens could be what we need. Blue kittens could be very, very helpful. But we'll see. I mean, the likelihood of getting the right, the right kind of blue kittens coming out alongside other cards that are going to be helpful for us is very, very low. And I am concerned about covering this treasure map. We would like to cover that, but maybe I should sacrifice that. Maybe allowing blue to grow more, maybe that one common treasure isn't worth it. We're not seeing many more lesson cards coming out. So actually we've got a really interesting round here. This is really, really interesting. We've got, so there's a green, a green, and then these are open for us. So these are looking really good and a purple. So. I mean, this isn't bad. I am, um, it's, it's four points for her and, but the rest of the stuff is good. But two common treasures, a blue and an Oshax. I feel like, are we gonna, oh, I don't know. Are we gonna sacrifice this? Are we gonna sacrifice this? It feels like we could. It feels like we could do that and all would be well. He says, I mean, we still need to get a lot of oranges. I'm worried, but I am feeling like these blues. Oh, it just feels too good. Doesn't it feel good? I mean, that is a nice fitting blue cat. And if we then draw this Oshax in here, that is filling up so much of this space with blues. Blues are the least points for our sister. That brings us up to five blue cats and it gives us the ability to take two treasures. Now, this is tricky because it is, it is any two. So do we take, I guess we're sacrificing this. I think I don't know, can we get the orange in or do we just want to cover this with common treasures? Because we're definitely going to take one corner piece for this. We're definitely going to do that. So now we could take a three by one and fill these three squares. That's going to help us fill this room, but that sacrifices us off. But maybe more blue cats, every blue cat now, we've got what, five? So five is 15. So everyone now is five points, which is plus four points on our sister. But she gets two points per cat in our largest family. So we don't want it to be too big because we're giving her lots and lots of points for that. In fact, every blue cat effectively is three points for her and only two, but it is plus two for us. So mm, I feel, I feel like we're doing it. I feel like we're, we're sacrificing that off. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we still need four more treasures. But I think, I think that that's the right option. Um, We've still got two more specials. Okay, so let's move on to the next round. The last card is coming out. We of course know that this one is going to be a blue. So now we know our sister's full set of cards. And I'm starting to wonder, I feel like we're in a good place. I'm slightly concerned by the treasures, but we do have three more rounds. We do have to get those four treasures from cards. So now, any card that gives us two common treasures is going to be really, really high value for us because we need two cards. Otherwise, if we take rare treasures where we get one per card, that means we're going to need to take a lot of them. So slightly nervous. This has not been a good card set so far. Lots and lots of purples coming out. Also some green. I mean, that column's not looking too bad, but yeah, wow. This is, this is not the, the, the set that we were looking for this round. We also need to remember to cover the rats. We also need to remember that we are, um, giving our sister two points for each cat in that family. Just going to grab some water. One second. <coughs> Okay.
Okay, so eight points, four purple, four red. Seven points if you have at least one cat touching exactly five treasures. That feels like something we could do quite easily, but I don't know. I feel like pushing that right now would be hard. Nine points for exactly three rare and six common. Oh, again, like we've got one, two, three, four, five common. So we can't gamble that we're going to get three rares. We can't gamble that. Ten points if you've got exactly five visible rats on your boat. This is a really, really tough round because we don't want the purple cats. We don't want any of these lesson cards so maybe this is the round where we take one card one card from each row and we build up our own column or do we take a row no we don't want to take a row i mean taking this would be good the oshaks would be good and i guess the blue cat would be good so uh, that's that's a tough one that's really really tough i'm also thinking about where that blue cat is actually going to go because this is not an ideal shape and we're just giving her more and more points we really need orange we need red we need three more orange cats and one more red cat and i'm wondering maybe we take this and draw it twice ah <sighs> maybe we do take this column draw one of these twice just to guarantee that we get that orange cat or are we panicking do we wait until next round Maybe, maybe we play it safe. Maybe we do take this column, leave our specials for the next round. We're going to get this, number 10, which we are not going to do. Seven points, you've got one cat touching exactly five treasures. Maybe it will happen, but to be honest, I don't think that that is an important thing for us right now. I am wondering about this Oshax and thinking that it would fit quite nicely down here just to help us kind of cover a lot of this. So what I'm wondering is, what's the way to do this? that maybe it seems a little bit strange though um maybe we draw the orange cat here maybe we draw this one down here this is gonna just help us cover this rat and then we can draw the oshax and then the oshax can cover these ones now this isn't helping us filling rooms too much but it has now covered those five rats which is 25 points knocked off we've only got one two three four more rats that we need to cover we need a really nice piece to go into here or some common treasures i mean am i being greedy hoping that we're going to get four more treasures in the next two rounds We've seen a lot of treasure come out, but what's done is done. We need to fill this room. We need to fill this room. We're looking for two perfect pieces and we need another orange, another red. And ideally we're going to want to put something in here to cover as much of this as possible. I'm, I'm feeling okay at the moment. Again, remembering that this is the, the easy mode. So, you know, I, I should be doing pretty good and I'm not entirely convinced right yet that I'm doing quite as well as I, I would like to be. So we will see as we move on to the second to last round. Our sister obviously already has all of her cards out. So nothing new. Okay. Rare treasure is fantastic. Orange cat is good. Come on, treasure. Oh. That that was asking too much, I suppose. But it's it's still not a bad it's still not a bad set of options. Let's have a quick look to see what's coming out here. We would like we would like to see some more treasures. If we could get treasure here and here, which would be a Christmas. M ooh, ooh, come on. Oh no! If only if only I'd drawn it onto that space first. Oh my goodness. Okay. Boy, this is, this is an interesting one. I am wondering what we're going to do now. So we want to fill this gap. Is there any good piece of filling this gap? Not really. We want to fill this gap. This red one is not too bad for filling that gap. Maybe now, oh, we, well, we're going to use a special at some point. We have to use a special because we've got two left and two rounds to go. So we could take one item from each row, which maybe is best left for next round because right now there's nothing that i'm thinking i don't think there's any bad options here another red and another blue is that blue gonna fit anywhere no so that blue doesn't fit so this this is a dead card we don't want these so that means maybe one from each 
But what would we take? If we went from one from each row, the only option left is that. How many cats do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, we've got two rounds. Maybe, maybe we do go for that. And then we go for a double common. Then we go for a rare. That then leaves us needing one treasure next round, one red cat, and one orange cat. There's no way that's going to happen. Or we could draw a treasure, treasure twice. Oh, but it's still not going to be enough. Oh, I don't know. I mean, let, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I think, I think this is what we're doing. I think we're taking number 20. Let's just count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 cats. But we're not going to take any cats this round. Which means we would have to draw three cats next round. There's no way we're going to do that. But we don't want the purple. The blue doesn't fit. We don't want the green. Oh, it's, it's, it's the hardest choice. Where are we going? And I think, you know, uh, I'm looking and I'm looking so hard and I'm thinking we're going for it. We're taking this rare treasure. We are taking this rare treasure and we are drawing that into this space that covers good amounts of stuff for us. I am happy with that. We are taking one item from each row instead of a column. We are going to take, <laughs> relax, <laughs> rewind, we're going to take two treasures and we're going to put them here, one and we're going to go with, let, let's just do it nice and neat, two, that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight treasures, we need one more treasure. The green cat is no use to us. The blue cat. I mean, this is the challenge. We could take the blue cat just to help fill up a room. And if we take the blue cat just to help fill up a room, then maybe that's a good option. It may be. But then we... Ugh, we're going to fill that. We're going to fill that with treasure. Let's go for it. Let's go for 20. Number 20. 10 points if you've got exactly 15 cats. So we are moving on to the last round. And this round, we are hoping for a treasure. We are hoping for free cats. Now, you may think that's impossible, but I've got a surprise for you. We've got one more special left. Are we going to get the perfect, perfect setup? We want common treasure orange cat red cat this is what we want we want a common treasure an orange cat and a red cat doesn't matter if it's not in the first column we want a common treasure <laughs> okay common treasure red cat orange cat orange cat Red cat, come on, red cat. Orange cat, that's workable. That is workable. We are looking for treasure. If we get treasure, we are looking for treasure, and we have got. Oh my goodness, has this happened? Has this actually happened? I think. I think it's happened. I mean, we're just going for it, right? We're going to draw the rare treasure and we're going to just draw it into here because that kind of just helps fill up a bit of space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten points if you have less than nine. So we've got nine or more. So we are good for treasure. We do not need to draw that twice. Okay. Orange cats. Can we do anything beautiful here to fill up space i mean if we draw orange cat one here then we could draw the next cat twice 
and then we could go one two three across oh wow that has worked out perfectly but we do need to cover that rat or it's five points for our sister oh uh, we've still got this but i i want to connect it to the family i really do but i'm gonna i'm gonna cover the rat i'm gonna cover the rat just because it, it feels like the right thing to do and that brings us to the end of the game and now we're gonna add up our points Let's see where we ended up. Blue families. We've got one, two, three, four, five blue cats. It's going to be 15 points. Green families. We've got nothing. Orange. One, two, three, four, five, six. But this one's not connected. So five. Five is going to be 15 points. Purple. We've got none. Red, we've got three, which is eight. That is what's going to hurt us. Not having another red cat has lost us so many points. But we'll see. We've got two rare treasures. That's going to give us six points. And then lessons. Four points per family of four or more cats. So one, two. That is going to give us eight points. Now, we lost four points because of that. But so be it seven points we've got at least one cat touching exactly five treasures i do not believe that we've done that 10 points if you've got exactly 15 cats we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so we did somehow manage that and then score your lo third largest family twice which is going to be another eight points again not having that one more cat there lost us another three points so seven points by not having that um sorry 10 points that one more red cat would have been worth 10 points to us but it is what it is rats i believe we have covered every single rat on our boat rooms we have filled this room this room this room this room and this room so we've only got two rooms which is going to be minus 10 points so in total we got 15 30 38 44 52 62 70 minus 10 60 points let's just double check 15 30 38 44 52 62 70 minus 10 is 60 points so let's now go through with our sister's scoring so the easiest way to do your sister scoring is just to grab another sheet and then you can just fill it in as well so let's have a quick look at what our sister's got she is going to get for blue one point per blue cat we've got one two three four five so she's going to get five points for blue cats green um cat sorry yeah green cats so she is going to get four points per green we've got one so she is going to get four orange she is going to get two points per orange we've got one two three four five six so she's going to get 12 points purple we did get away with none and red she's going to get three points which is three six nine points for her lesson cards we did achieve this one so she's going to get no points for that card we've got no visible rats so we did achieve that two points per cat in the largest family and i believe that's again one two three four five which is going to be 10 points for her so in total she got five nine twenty one thirty she got 40 points now of course this was the easiest difficulty. If we did want to rack it up, we could go up another four difficulties. And believe you me, it gets a lot harder at the end. But hopefully that was a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, keep on adventuring.